Hi, I'm Barney from dpreview.com, and I'm here with Chuck Westfall from Canon, and today we're going to look at the 7D Mark II. So thanks for coming in, Chuck. Um, why don't you talk us through the key features of the new camera? Thanks very much, Barney. Uh, we have actually in the uh, 7D Mark II just a, a complete and thorough update uh, on the 7D concept, which is our flagship model in the APS-C type small chip DSLR. Uh, and uh, really the improvements kind of center on three different areas. One is for the still photography aspect, another one is for the movie aspect, and the third one is just the overall durability of the camera. So if we begin with the still photography aspect, uh, we look at things, for example, like the autofocus system on, on uh, both the uh, conventional uh, th eye-level viewfinder as well as the live view. Uh, so on the eye-level viewfinder, we've got a 65-point cross-type focus now uh, compared to 19 that we had before. We also have uh, ability on the uh, live view to do the dual pixel CMOS AF, and it's actually second generation now right, of that so system. It's not the same system as the 70D, it's been improved. Right, it's been upgraded in terms of overall performance, and it also has some new features. Uh, and in addition to uh, the autofocus, we also have 10 frames per second capability for still photography. Um, we have uh, you know, just a, a wide range of different ways to be able to control the camera, including a new AF area selection lever on the back of the camera here uh, that makes it a whole lot easier to go between single point and zone and full 65 point and, and the all, all the other options that there are. On the video side, what we've really done is to uh, upgrade the performance substantially, not just in terms of the dual pixel CMOS AF, but also in things like, for example, the ability to shoot full HD at 60p, uh, to have the uh, clean HDMI out so that you can record to an external recorder now, um, and uh, the ability to uh, actually choose different kinds of codecs between MOV, MP4, um, just amazing amount of control that you have on this camera to be able to improve the quality of your video. Uh, and then maybe the last but not least thing to talk about on this camera is the uh, durability aspect of it. Uh, we've been able to increase the shutter life from 150,000 cycles up to 200,000, which is a nice feature to uh, be able to improve uh, capability. But I like also the fact that the weather resistance overall has been improved four times better than the 7D. Great. So how important is, um, is video, do you think, in this, in this product class? Um, it's becoming more important all the time. Uh, really, what we are discovering is that if you look at the statistics of what's being uploaded online, the amount of data that uh, is being uploaded in terms of new video, every minute, every second, whether it's on YouTube or Facebook or what have you, is just it's almost exponential compared to uh, still imaging. Even in the professional side, and I think a camera like this is going to have a, a lot of usage by professional videographers, um, there's a tremendous level of uh, interest in uh, DSLR that can do what this camera can do. We've got uh, 1080 up to 60p. We have the uh, um, dual pixel CMOS AF, which is a newer, better version than what we had in the 70D. Uh, we've also got uh, you know, uh, choice of MOV or MP4 on the, on the codex. Uh, and also uh, something that was very strongly requested by a lot of our users, which is the ability to uh, use the HDMI feed uh, to record to an external recorder. And in this camera, for the first time, we're actually embedding the audio signal into that HDMI feed. Two of the most interesting new features for video on the EO7 D Mark II are the adjustments for movie servo AF speed and also movie servo AF tracking sensitivity. Uh, so what we have here is the ability to actually adjust the speed from the fastest uh, point, which is on this far scale on zero over here, and then move it in uh, one stop increments all the way down to level four. Uh, we also have the ability to adjust the tracking sensitivity. And in this case, it's how long the uh, uh, camera will remain focused on the subject um, as a new subject enters the focusing area. So uh, you can control that uh, and make it, the transitions of focus look much more natural. So, um, you know, there's just been uh, so many good upgrades that uh, will support high quality video on a camera like this. And we didn't even begin to talk about things like uh, the image quality. Um, the fact that uh, there's actually a new digit processor here, the dual digit 6, that's helping us out uh, tremendously in terms of uh, noise reduction. And also, uh, we've added a new feature on this camera, 
which is the distortion correction that uh, basically is going to make your in-camera JPEGs and your videos look even that much better because it really corrects the lens to its maximum possible degree. So you've got a new uh, 10 frames a second shooting rate, there's a new video features, there's a new AF system. Uh, why don't you just talk us through that new AF system? Sure. Um, I mentioned the fact that it's 65 points, and uh, that's really a very useful feature because of the fact that the points stretch out so far uh, to the edges of the screen, uh, and that makes it easier to uh, get autofocus where you want it. Uh, but also the fact that every single point is cross-type uh, means that you're going to be able to uh, pick up on contrast in just about any kind of situation. Uh, and especially if you're using uh, um, more than one point, uh, the camera's going to find it easier to track from point to point uh, as the subject moves around. And that's actually even better than the 1DX, is that right? Well, from the standpoint of being all cross-type, mm -hmm. that's absolutely true, because in the uh, case of the 1DX, uh, there are 41 cross-type points, and here there are 65. All right, well, thank you very much. That was a good overview. Thanks, Chuck. Thank you for your time. My pleasure. And thanks for watching.